Let's take a few minutes to talk about how uh, contaminants are measured. Harmful contaminants are usually measured on one of the four scales that I have before you. Uh, milligrams per cubic meter. Again, milligram is one one thousandths of a gram. Uh, another fairly common measurement, uh, measurement unit for contaminants would be micrograms per cubic meter. With a microgram, we're talking about one one millionth of a gram. Parts per million, also very common. With parts per million, we have one part of contaminant for every one million parts of liquid or air or whatever the media is that we're talking about. Okay, parts per million. And also some contaminants are measured at parts per billion. One part contaminant for every one billion parts of liquid or air. Okay, and these are the most common measurement units for measuring contaminants. Now, one thing you're going to run into, uh, maybe working as a safety professional, but definitely when you're ready for certification exams, are conversions between uh, these different units, especially milligrams per cubic meter to parts per million or parts per million to milligrams per cubic meter. And that's what I really want to focus on in this video is that process. This is the formula that you would use to calculate um, or to convert milligrams per cubic meter to parts per million. Go ahead and break down this formula here. Again, we're, we're wanting to calculate parts per million concentration. We have the contaminant measured in milligrams per cubic meter, and that's what's represented over here, this part of the formula. 24.45 is a constant, excuse me, is a constant. And then molecular weight, the molecular weight of the substance you're dealing with. And that's the weight of the substance relative to the weight of water. Uh, and on the CSP, ASP exams, these values are going to be given to you, the molecular weight. You'll be given milligrams per cubic meter in the problem. And as, like, like the other problems we've done, it's mostly plugging in and doing the math. Now, in the real world, if you needed to do a conversion like this, you might have to look up the molecular weight. Molecular weight can be found on the safety data sheet. It can be found in the NIOSH uh, quick guide for different contaminants. There are a lot of different resources to find molecular weight pretty easily. But let's go ahead and look at a problem. Um, what is the parts per million concentration of 726 grams of material that is fully evaporated in a room having a volume of 85 cubic meters. Uh, the molecular weight of our substance is 112 grams per mole. So right out of the gate, we're going to have to do some conversions. That's really common for ASP, CSP exam questions. Uh, they, they like conversions. You'll have to do a lot of conversions from one units to other units, and it can the conversions themselves can be the most difficult part of a lot of the CSP, ASP problems. Uh, there is one method that I'm not getting into here. I'll make another video on this method, but that is the, the extended conversion process, which simplifies, uh, it simplifies more complex conversion problems. The conversion problems that we have in this video, that we'll see in this video, are not that complex. We really don't need to, to pull out the big guns and use the extended conversion process. We can do it uh, more uh, informally. But let's go ahead and look at this. We're going to have to convert 726 grams to milligrams because we're working in milligrams. So convert grams to milligrams. One gram equals 1,000 milligrams. So all we need to do is multiply 726 times 1,000. Then we're, we are in milligrams. We have 726,000 milligrams. That was easy. Uh, that's the only conversion we need to do. 85 cubic meters is already 85 cubic meters. Uh, the next problem, you'll see where we have to do some conversions for volume as well. But this one, keeping it simple. Okay, once we have our milligrams converted, we just plug everything in. Uh, we plug in milligrams to this part of the formula. 
and we plug in the 85 cubic meters into this part of the formula. The first mathematical operation will be 726,000 divided by 85. And when we do that calculation, we end up with 8544.88. Let me go ahead and pull my calculator up here to verify that for you. Okay, we've got 726,000. And there are shortcuts I could take, but I don't want to take those shortcuts and confuse you. 726,000 divided by 85. 8541.176471. We got a problem. Let me, let me double check this and make sure. I might have it wrong on my slide, but we can correct that really quickly. 726,000 divided by 85 cubic meters equals 8,541. Let me correct this. 8,541.17. That means I'm going to have to make corrections throughout this. Again, this is why you double check your work. Um, problems like this, yeah. Actually, that should be uh, 1.17 or 0.176. That should be 1.18. So we're going to round that to 0.18. 8541.18. Now, our next iteration is going to be the uh, multiplication of 8541.18 times 24.45, which is, again, the molar constant. When we do that math, we're going to come up with a different number because I had some wrong numbers in here. 8541.18 times 24.45 equals 208,000. 208,831.85. Okay, mark through that. Now the last step in the process, going from milligrams per cubic meters to parts per million, is dividing uh, by the molecular weight. And when we divide by the molecular weight, again, that number is going to be off. Let's recalculate it. We divide 208,831.851 divided by the molecular weight of the substance, which is 112. We end up with 1,864.5. Well, that's odd. <laughs> I've got the right number here, pretty much. Uh, Go ahead and rewrite that. 1,864. We're only off by about a gram, or by one part per million. 1,864.57. Again, 1,864.57. That's our parts per million concentration. Again, what we're doing here, from milligrams per cubic meter to parts per million, this is what we come up with in this situation. Let's do another example that's going to require more conversions. Again, same formula, same process, same everything, but the problem's a little more challenging because of the conversions involved. Now, this is really looking more like what you will see on a CSP exam because of the conversions. What is the parts per million concentration of 1.6 pounds of material that is fully evaporated in a 3,000 cubic foot room? Molecular weight of the substance is 112 grams per mole. We're working with the same substance, same molecular weight, but we're in pounds, that's going to have to be converted to milligrams, and we're in cubic feet, that will have to be converted to uh, cubic meters. So that's the first thing we need to do before we can plug anything into the 
formula. We have to convert pounds to milligrams. One pound is 454 grams. One gram is 1,000 milligrams. So let's multiply 1.6 pounds times 454. That gives us the number of grams, 726.4 grams. Once we have grams, we need to multiply that times 1,000. And when we multiply 726.4 times 1,000, we end up with 726,400 milligrams. So we've got that conversion done. Now we need to convert uh, cubic feet to cubic meters. Okay, one meter is 3.28 feet. One cubic meter is 35.29 cubic feet. So, and the, re the way we got went from 3.28 to 35.29, we just cubed 3.28. 3.28 times 3.28 times 3.28. That's, that's the volume um, of a cubic meter in feet. That's how we come up with the 35.29 cubic feet. Now that we have the cubic feet, we divide that 3,000 cubic feet by 35.29 cubic feet per cubic meter we end up with 85.01 cubic meters. Now we have everything that we can plug in. We plug in our milligrams, we plug in our cubic meters, constant, we also plug in our molecular weight, 112 grams per mole. We do the calculations. Go ahead and bring the calculator up. So we can verify my calculations, make sure there's not another mistake on the slide. We've got 726,400 divided by 85.01 equals 8544.88. So our number's good. We get 726,400 divided by 85.1 gives us 8,544.88. We multiply that times the 24.45 constant. We end up with 208,922.24. Let's double check that. Get the right calculator up here. We've got 80. 544.88 times 24.45 equals 208,922. And the decimal's off a little bit. This should be 0.32. Last thing we do, we divide 208,922.32 by the molecular weight of 112. One thousand eight hundred sixty five point three seven round that to one thousand eight hundred sixty five point four parts per million. Again, like I said previously, this is more like what you'll see on a certification exam. Again, it's eighth grade level math, it's eighth grade level stuff. But if you haven't done it in a while, it can be it can be intimidating at first. But once you, you get used to it, you won't have any problem with it. These types, with these types of situations uh, that you can see on the certification exams. All right, now we want to convert from parts per million to milligrams per cubic meter. And here's the formula for making that conversion. We have this situation. The molecular weight 
of substance X is 125 and its concentration is 475 parts per million. What is the concentration in milligrams per cubic meter? We're just converting the other way. And go ahead and bring this up. You could use the same formula and just solve for milligrams per cubic meter, but this makes it a little easier. I've, all, I've done the transposition for you, and this is the formula for this situation. Okay, plug everything in. Parts per million, 475 goes here. Molecular weight, 125 goes here. Then 24.45 is our constant. Same constant we had in the uh, previous uh, problems. 475 times 125, let's, let me check my math. 475 times 125 equals 59,375. So we're good there bring down the 24.45 then the last step or iteration in the problem is simply dividing 59375 by 24.45 and it's probably making some of you crazy that i keep clearing and re-entering my numbers i could take shortcuts but i'm not taking shortcuts because when about when i start taking shortcuts i run the risk of losing you so I'm going to start each step from the beginning. So we'll keep everybody on the same page. I could do this a lot faster. And there are several shortcuts that, that I could use. But again, I don't want to lose you. So 59,375 divided by 24.45, 2,428.43. That is our concentration in milligrams per cubic meters. Again, we were at 475 parts per million. But if we need that uh, contaminant measured in milligrams per cubic meter, this is what we'll come up with. This is the method we'll use to get here. And like I said before, you could use the same formula for both, going both directions with these conversions. This formula could be used for both. You could just you just solve for milligrams per cubic meter for this particular problem. All right. If you have any questions, let me know, and uh, I'll do what I can to help you. Have a good day.